A grieving community gathering to remember a two-year-old boy who drowned after wandering away from his grandmother. Let's go to local tents. Christian Delarosa live now in North Lauderdale with a touching tribute tonight. Christian. This is where the little boy went to pre-K and this is where his teachers consoled his mother tonight. I thank you all so much for doing this. Just thank you. Her pain is indescribable. You know, looking at that mom out there, it could have been any one of us. Cormel Bullock was just two years old. Tuesday night, he was under his grandmother's care in Fort Lauderdale. Surveillance video shows him walking towards the new river right before falling into the water. Moments later, his grandmother and other neighbors are also seen looking for the little boy. But it was too late. I need all the to give you my family's strength. We love you, Cormel. Friday night, balloons released into the heavens in his name outside Masterminds Academy, where the toddler went to pre-K. Rambunctious, uh, busy body like every two-year-old boy you ever meet. This was the last picture of him at school, hours before the horrifying accident. I have a son that's the same age as Cormel in his class. Mm -hmm. His classmate is my son. So my first instinct was that could have been my son. Cormel's mother, father, and grandmother embraced by prayer from teachers and friends. You blink and a two-year-old, like I said, I have one. You blink and they're gone. So it could have been any one of us out there. Cormel's mother donated his favorite toys to the school today. Fort Lauderdale Police, again, ruled this as just a tragic accident. And we're live in North Lauderdale tonight. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. So very heartbreaking for that family. Thank you, Christian.